It started with this tweet. Incredible how most engineering managers don't realize how measuring developer productivity by visualizing Jira plus Git stats is a dead end if you want truly high-performing teams. This path works the same as mandating that teams use Scrum. Yes, it helps bad teams get better. A common refrain in metric vendor marketing is that metrics will help your team improve productivity and developer efficiency. By visualizing these metrics from Git and Jira data, you'll find bottlenecks that are help your team ship more faster. Only one problem. If you're already a high performing team, no one cares. Are you going to get upset that your deployment frequency dropped from 10 times a day to eight? Are you going to dig through that data to try to find your review process bottleneck so that you can shave your change lead time down from three hours to two and a half? No, this tweet thread goes on to say, some people are asking about whether measuring Dora metrics are also bad. Not bad per se, but bad if this is your target. They are a given at any high performing team. So yes, get there, but don't make this the end goal. To paraphrase, measuring the Dora metrics, a better solution than Jira plus Git metrics is just par for the course and not a goal. Dora metrics are a collection of four metrics to measure a software team's delivery pace, speed, and quality, and have been shown in research to strongly correlate to delivering business value. So is it true that bad teams are the only ones to benefit from metrics? Yes and no. As a co-founder of Adora Metrics product, I talked to a lot of teams about metrics, and here's what I found. Poorly performing teams need a tool that tracks their performance and finds bottlenecks. This directly helps them ship faster and better. So I worked at a company that shipped every three months, and being able to track how many deploys a week was made was pretty important. Side note though, we didn't learn about Dora metrics and then decide to make changes, but rather we wanted to ship more frequency, then look to metrics to help us measure and track our improvement. High performing teams want to know that they are maintaining that high performance as they scale and change. Do they need to know if things drop 10%? No, but if it drops to 80%, well, they may care. A similar use case is where a company acquires another company and wants to track the combination of teams to ensure that they don't lose steam. Keeping a team productive through a period of hyper growth is a real hard problem. High performing teams can still be under pressure to share their metrics up and across the organization. Metrics are a good way to quantify how far ahead a high performing team is from the others. And hopefully by sharing that, you will inspire other teams to improve. I mean, who doesn't love numbers that make them look good? Never underestimate the value of internal marketing. In summary, metrics are more than just tools for improvement. While I do believe that every engineering team should be tracking their Dora metrics, one should also be realistic about what to expect these metrics to deliver. Because most of the time, it isn't ship more faster. If you want to learn more about what Dora metrics are, I cover it in this video. If you want to learn how I helped a team move from four deploys a year to once a week, this video might be interesting. Thanks for watching.